One of the most common things that people ask me is how do I keep my lawn so green and so short during the summertime when everything else is burnt up around me? Today I'm going to explain a couple key steps on how I keep my lawn green and looking good during the middle of summer. So step number one would be watering your lawn, whether that's irrigation or through rainfall. It needs to have some sort of water source during the summertime. Now luckily where I'm located here in the middle of Iowa, normally our summertime has good rainfall. So I don't have to fight with that quite as much, but this year we're experiencing some dry conditions. So you have to supplement that with some irrigation. Now a lot of people look at pictures of my yard and they think you must be using tons of water to get it to be that green. I'm using less than an inch of water per week on my shortcut turf. So that's a lot less than you might assume, but the other thing that we have as a benefit also can be a con depending on certain factors is that it's very humid here during the summertime. Now that's not so good for fungus issues, but what it is good for compared to you out in the western states that are in really dry areas, we get a good rainfall here and it's also very humid during the summertime. Not as much moisture comes out of the ground even if it gets very hot. So I think that a lot of people think that if it's 90 degrees outside, oh I must need to water my yard a whole bunch to keep it going. But honestly with the kind of humidity that we have, that hasn't been the case for me. I'm using a lot less water than you would think and I've had a lot less fungus issues because I keep it slightly on the drier side as well. So how can you check for this? Well, you can go out and you can take a core of your lawn, kind of see where the moisture levels are at. That's probably the easiest way, or just watch when it's about to get to the wilting stage. And what I mean by wilting is you'll start to see some of those hazy, bluish type spots in the yard where it's just starting to wilt over the grass blades. That's the time frame when you know that you need to get some water on the turf. Another thing with watering and irrigation that a lot of people don't think about is that if you have just a few spots here and there that need some water, you don't have to water the whole yard. If the rest of the yard is looking good, just target those spots with some hand watering and a lot of times it can keep things going for longer and also conserve some water as well. So proper irrigation, factoring in your rainfall and the humidity in your area, that's step number one. So step I would say 1A is also you could look into some wetting agents. So what they're gonna do is actually help your water to soak into the ground properly, especially when it gets dry here on our soil. It'll get sort of a crust on the top of it and a lot of times during dry parts of the year you can watch the water absolutely just run off of the soil. What these products do is to help that soil become less hydrophobic so the water actually soaks in and goes down and is used properly. Wetting agents is another thing. It's a whole deep dive topic. It's not something you absolutely have to have to keep a green yard. But if you are interested in going the extra mile, check out some of those products. Step number two on how I continue to keep a green yard during the summer is I continue to fertilize. A lot of people might say, I thought you weren't supposed to fertilize cool season lawns during the summer. I'm really always on a low key program on my low cut turf where I'm applying a lot less product, but more often. But this is something that you can apply to any yard as long as you're watering during the summer by applying just low amounts of fertilizer and micronutrients to your lawn to kind of keep things green and going. So a lot of times if you're on a four step program, like a granular program, the middle summer piece there is something where there's not really any fertilizer going down. And your spring application has to last you all the way until fall. For a lot of people that's fine, but the thing that I found in keeping a really green and nice looking lawn in the summer in addition to the irrigation is to continue those low doses of fertilizer. So right now is a perfect time when liquids work really well for this. Granulars can work as well if you can put them out at low doses, but a lot of times it's hard to do that in a spreader. Liquids would be what I would use in order to put out a low amount of fertilizer. You won't cause any extreme growth and utilize these to give the lawn some nutrients, keep it green during this summer period. Step number three is related to that fertilizer, but this is specifically iron and other micronutrients. This was something in my program that I didn't do a lot of at the beginning. And since I have done that, I've noticed a major difference in terms of keeping my lawn green during the summer, keeping it green during the stressful parts of the year. Specifically, a low dose of micronutrients every two to three weeks is what I'm on for my program. Again, these are small doses that you're putting out, but they do make a big difference in terms of holding your color throughout those stressful periods and throughout a time frame when a lot of other people's yards will kind of go off color. There's a lot of different products on the market. I will list a couple in the description if you want to check those out on what I personally use. But iron and micronutrients are a way that I keep my color going during the middle of the summer as well.
Next step would be proper mowing and sharp blades. I talked about this in a previous quick tip video that if you're not mowing properly and at the proper height, you're gonna be causing a lot of stress to your lawn. And especially during the stressful period of summer for cool season grass, it's going to look really brown really fast if you're stressing it out by scalping. So make sure that you're properly mowing at whatever height you wanna be at. That means you can cut it low like I do if you're willing to mow more often. Or if you're one of those once a week type people, I would probably have it at least three inches during the summertime. That way you're going to be causing a lot less stress when you do mow the lawn and the growth is gonna be coming down. So if you don't need to mow that often and you wanna let it get a little shaggier during the summertime, that's totally fine too. Make sure that whatever mower you're using, it's working properly, you have your blade sharp. This is gonna give you a lot more success as well. Make sure your equipment is working properly and you're cutting those grass blades as clean as possible. And finally, when it comes to a green lawn like the one I have, a lot of people tell me, I've applied a lot of different things, Ryan. I've done so many different practices and I can't get my lawn to be as green as yours is. There's also a strong likelihood that people aren't thinking about grass cultivars and how important that is to a year long green yard, especially during the summer parts of the year when it's stressful. I've gone through the painstaking work of renovating pretty much every area of my lawn. And the reason that I did that is so that I can choose the best grass cultivars and put them in so that I have the best shot at having success throughout the entire season. There's a reason that some grass will never look exactly like mine and that's really because of just the grass cultivars themselves. So if you're trying to turn a Prius into a Ferrari just by giving it a new coat of paint, it's probably not gonna work. The same thing happens here with my grass. I've gone through the work of doing the renovation, putting in the best grass that I can possibly put in, and that way I have the color out of it, the disease resistance, the heat resistance, all those things that I wanted to give me the best success possible. So if you're just getting into this and you want the best of the best, don't forget the grass cultivars play a huge role in the overall lawn and its appearance. It's getting close to renovation season, so be thinking about that. I have playlists on YouTube about lawn and renovation. I also wrote a guide this winter that covers the entire process start to finish for cool season grass if you're interested in that. I hope those steps today helped you understand my program, how I'm keeping my lawn green during the summer. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you.